what is going on guys my name is georgian welcome to another fifa 14 web app video yesterday we had the opportunity to get into the web app and that was really cool considering that it was uh supposedly going to be available to uh, september 15 which is sunday which would be tomorrow and but now we got in there before and that was really cool so we did a lot of stuff uh um, you know starting out we got our starter pack uh, obviously uh we got some uh free packs uh we, you know we got ben Arfa, our best player in those three packs and so now i'm looking at uh the players i'm looking at ben Arfa actually to see what his price is right now because i am thinking of selling him uh put him up for a transfer even though i said i was gonna try to keep him but in the end i decided to put him in the transfer market 12 hours three thousand nine hundred coins and hopefully that someone would bid on him i was confident that someone would bid on him and so yeah he goes up and the reason why i put him up for sale and maybe i might regret it in the future if he goes for even more money which i maybe he will maybe he won't so you know it's kind of a risk uh but the reason why i put him up is because obviously i need the coins and i need the coins to build a squad yes i wanted to build a squad i wanted to build a team and the team that i was thinking about you're gonna see in a little bit uh the, the team that i was thinking of building uh was the liga vvv a squad and obviously i wasn't gonna uh i wasn't gonna build like a team with neymar and messi and ronaldo in there obviously but i wanted to build a squad that was a non-rare team so you know that so it, it's i knew it was gonna be a cheap uh, cheap team to build and that was not gonna cost me a lot um so you know that's the team that i wanted to build with uh you know cheap non-rare players but that were really that were good you know that were not bad and uh you're, you're gonna see it right now some of those players that i went for but now we are putting some players up in the transfer market and we're putting these uh gold players for around 400 coins 450 coins and i knew these players would sell um you know the ones that i was putting up because they look really good you know uh except for these guys i uh, i'm gonna quick sell these guys and uh you know just get some coins for them uh, so now we got some silvers right there. We also got this player, but uh, well, I was thinking of selling him or not, and I decided to actually put him up for trading, uh, you know, at a low price, uh, 400 coins. And we also got a bunch of silver players that might go for something like this goalkeeper, Brazilian goalkeeper, looked, uh, you know, decent for a Brazilian. Uh, the only bad thing was that these players were uh, non-rare players, so you know, I was skeptical about them being sold. But uh, nonetheless, I put them up for trading and just I want to see what would happen with them. And if they didn't sell, then obviously I would just uh, quick sell them. Uh, now I'm going to talk about, about the quick, about quick selling players. Something I did not know was that the players that you got in your starter pack are not tradable. Look at that. It says untradable and you cannot quick sell them. I did not know that at all. I hadn't even given a thought of, of quick selling those guys until right now. Uh, well, right there when I was uh, quick selling the other players and putting them up in the transfer market. So that was a bit of a surprise that, you know, that you couldn't quick sell your players that you got in the starter pack or even, you know, put them up for trade. So this is a squad that I was uh, looking to to build. As you can see, we've got some pretty good players, some non -rare, uh, some rare players and non-rare players. But the rare players like Carlos Vela, um, Guardado, Giovanni Dos Santos, Hander Herrera, Miranda, you know, those players uh, were not going to be cheap and we're gonna see uh in a little bit <clears throat> you know <coughs> how much they were going for sorry <clears throat> uh but yeah so we're gonna look now for the players and you know the screenshot that you saw right there was from foothead.com if you don't know foothead.com has everything on fifa 13 fifa 14 you know and all you know starting from fifa 13 and fifa 14 they have everything on there you know you can search up players and everything so it's a cool website to check out and that's where you can also build squads you know that you know to uh kind of like a model squad so that then you can build it in the real game so so we're looking at first at the goalkeeper and the goal my goalkeeper was going to be quite uh, this guy from valencia in fifa 13 he was a really good player he was a really good goalkeeper and i used him and i liked him a lot and now he was uh I, I don't remember his rating i think it actually went up but i'm not sure on that but he looked like pretty good 80, 80 diving and 80 reflexes uh looked pretty good on him 
and he just looked like a really uh, good all-around goalkeeper so we put him for the in the transfer targets and now we're looking at our right back who is going to be from Real Madrid and that was going well I was going to be Carvajal Arbaloa uh, you know, he's good at defending, but I don't think he is a really good right back. I never used him, I think, in FIFA 13. Uh, maybe I did it once, but pro I probably didn't like him at all. So the only player that uh, I wanted to get in the right back position that was uh, that was going to be cheap, obviously starting out, well, was going to be Carva Hell. And, uh, you know, he looked like uh, he was going to be a really good right back. He used to be a silver right back uh, for Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, and then obviously he transferred to Real Madrid still with that silver uh, card rare 74 rated and he was going for loads of money and uh, now obviously with his with his non rare card he is going to go f and gold card he's going to go for less and uh, but he still looks like a pretty good uh, player now we're looking at our our first center back and the first center back that I was going to look at was going to be uh, Inigo Martinez this guy 77 pace 80 defending 79 heading for a non rare 80 rated center back that looked really good so now we've got our three players right there which was uh which was going to be cheap to get those players and that was good for us we want to spend the least amount of coins that we can because we are very limited. 4,000 coins right now. Uh, you know, that's all we have. Uh, but with the sale of, um, of Ben Arfa, I was hoping that I would have at least 8,000 coins. So, uh, But now we're looking at our, our left back. And uh, well, actually, I'm looking at our center mid, which is going to be the first one. Um, this is the player that I wanted to get, Casemiro, for our center defensive mid spot. I actually thought he was a center defensive mid at first, but it turns out he's actually a center mid, which is kind of a bummer because I, you know, I wanted him to be in that center defensive mid position. But it didn't matter for me; he was still going to be in that center defensive mid spot, and so I had to get him in a center mid position. Uh, but it, it was all cool anyways. You know, he's a great player and his chemistry is not going to be that much affected probably. And the next player was going to be this guy, Iyaramandi. Um, This guy looks really good because of his passing and his dribbling. And he just looks like a fresh player from Al Madrid. I think, uh, I don't remember what club he used to play for, but he definitely just came in with Real Madrid. He was, I think, he, yeah, he was just uh, barely, he was just bought by Real Madrid. And, um... You know, he just looks like a really good player in that center mid uh, slot. Then the next player was going to be another center mid, and that was going to be from Athletic Bilbao, and it was Ander Herrera, the guy that almost went to Manchester United but didn't quite make it there. Uh, he was going to be my next target, and uh, he was pretty cheap, actually, 900 coins, so not that bad. Uh, but uh, like I said in the beginning, though, when I was doing this right here, when I was looking at all these players, Giovanni Dos Santos and all that, um, I started to think about whether I should get these players. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to afford them. You know, that was a big question. And then the next thing was that if I wanted to build a squad that was a non-rare, all non-rare squad. And right now, I actually, I'm actually uh, in the building, in the in the making of uh, of a non-rare squad. So this squad right here that you guys are, or these players that I was looking at, these were not going to be the players that I was going to put in because you know like i said i didn't have enough coins and i just wanted to make a non-rare team you know with some really good players so the so the players that were non-rare were the only ones that are, that were going to go into the squad so we're looking at now castro and that's going to be our striker and this is where i kind of hit like a uh, dead end i didn't know what else to build i mean i didn't know what uh, players i should put but that's going to be the end of this uh, uh second video in the fifa 14 web app hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh you know i'll have another video up uh with the actual squad that i built so hopefully you guys can tune into that uh, but that's going to be it for me i'll see you on the next video guys later